Hello everyone and welcome. We are here at Cafe Don Juan in Winter Park for David Diaz's new series, Music on the Menu. David, how are you? I'm good and I feel really spoiled because of all this amazing food and beverage. I know, me too. I can't believe this. This smells amazing, this chicken and waffles. It is. Not. There's so many things happening right now. Like my brain is so overwhelmed. I know and this latte art is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. But tell us, so we know you're, we're here filming Pay to be Happy. Yes. Tell us your inspiration behind uh, the song and this location and why this song resonates with Don Juan. Yeah, so um, this particular song came about from sort of my relationship with happiness and my view of how kind of happiness can have like two extremes. There's like the positive side and then there's the negative side which is sort of where the song kind of lies where you know people are willing to do anything they can to obtain that sort of like vision of happiness instead of true happiness. Yeah, kind of escaping almost. Exactly. So it's just kind of like doing whatever you can and sacrificing so much of yourself to just manifestation of happiness when on the inside you're kind of just like killing yourself and just yeah. like losing yourself so much that you're just not there anymore basically. Yeah. Kind of powering through or really feeling how you feel inside. You're kind of using outside factors to get to that happiness. Exactly. Even though that's not truly how you're feeling. Again, like the same thing. It's just like the person in the song is just so willing to sacrifice who they are for whatever happiness looks like to them. So and then the song is very open to interpretation, so it can, like, you know, the vision of whatever happiness looks like can apply to the person listening to the song. Right. So it could be like, you know, um, it could be something like fashion related, maybe it could be food, it could be um, a relationship, it could be really anything. Because we all do it. It's exactly. so human. Yeah, on different levels. Like, there's obviously extremes, or pay to be happy is more of the extreme side, but there's like small things that we do, obviously, like you said, in life that we kind of sacrifice our happiness to an extent, and I wanted to kind of point that out, that everyone's kind of guilty of right. doing that. So, even me. So tell us, why Don Juan for pay to be happy? I saw the photos of this place, and I absolutely knew I had to perform here and I just love the vibe like it really just fit and um, yeah it's just like I think it really worked well together because sometimes like with certain songs like um, even when it comes to performing them like it really has to match like the vibe and everything like that and I feel like just the vibe here and everything was just really fitting so um, yeah. I just thought Don Juan would be a cool place to do this. The part. vibe that you feel when you created the song and you feel that same vibe here when you're experiencing you know, the food and everything. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's your your most viewed music video on YouTube as well, right? It is, yeah. It's so crazy. Oh my gosh, I cried so hard with that <laughs> song. I resonated so much with it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just glad that everyone, even you, like got a chance to relate to it because that was one of the things that I was kind of scared of with my music when I started making it a little bit more personal and like emotional and kind of like dark is that I was like I was afraid that most people wouldn't be able to relate to it because it was so vulnerable and that like people relating to it would kind of be like them admitting that they can relate to it which means like they've you know gone through something similar so I didn't I was really scared and it was kind of like pushing a boundary but I was like at the end of the day that's what I wanted to do so and then seeing that people actually do connect with it it was just so insane so one of the ways that you were the most vulnerable it, it did really well is like you were scared to put yourself out there, but it's actually what people needed. Yeah. And it made people happy. <laughs> well, I think that's one thing that I like about the music that I make is that because it has this sort of more darker quality, even though it's, some of it might sound happy, it has a very cathartic um, feeling. Because, like, you know, after you exactly. like listen to the song or after you hear it and maybe you cry or maybe you kind of just like nod your head or like you know vibe out or whatever mm -hmm. you kind of are thinking about the lyrics and like how it you know applies to your life and, and then come up. yeah and then like you think about it afterwards and then sometimes like you might want to play it again or something and like keep thinking and yeah it's just I'm glad 
that the songs are able to do that for people, so. Okay, last question. What is your order or your favorite thing to get at Don Juan? Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I had, um, it's not here, but I had the Don Pito, which was really good. And, What's on that, do you remember? Um, onions and like, uh, cilantro mayo. Oh, and, that sounds good. Yeah, and it was on Mallorca bread, which is like, like um, that one? Yeah, like this one, it had like a powder. It was so good. <laughs> like, and I was being filmed while I was eating it. And I was like, well, I was afraid it wasn't gonna be a genuine reaction, but I loved it so much. I was like, oh God, this is so good. But it was amazing. And then I had a, an Americano and yeah, it was it was just like the so best. So did you drink the Americano plain? Um, I usually just, yeah, drink it plain with a little bit of sugar, oh, but just like straight okay. up black, yeah. You're a simple one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty simple. I just like black coffee, except for like cafe con leches, like I have to, those have to be like milk and everything, but. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tell me what inspired you to do music on the menu. Um, obviously I have a very similar obsession to food. Um, <laughs> And I love music and it's like, you know, my life. So I wanted to kind of combine those two things, as strange as it sounds, and kind of just pick places in Orlando that, you know, are really interesting to me and have like a really cool vibe um, and obviously amazing food. And um, that's kind of where it started. I was just like, I just wanted to pick one place to do one of my songs and, um, yeah, I kind of just started from there and yeah, now we're doing it. And it's so weird because it initially just started out as like an idea. Yeah. And I thought it was crazy. I was like, we're, we never do this. Like, it's so stupid. Like, why would I sing in a restaurant? <laughs> so, um, but I was like, you know, it's never been done before. Like, I've never seen anyone do it. And just, I love it. Thank I you. I love how you combine your passion with the Orlando community. I think that it takes it to a greater level and Sharing your passion of food, I'm sure a lot of your fans are foodies too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, absolutely. Maybe one. So I think it, it's going to be an awesome journey discovering all these different places in Orlando and how they inspired you um, and how they connect with you and your music. So I think it's genius. Thank you. Yeah, and it's um, like yeah, it's just a huge passion of mine, and um, that's another like you said, the thing I wanted to do was. Um, kind of focus on Orlando businesses because you know there's obviously so many chains and things like that but right. places that are important to the community and small businesses exactly yeah. so um, that's another thing I wanted to just kind of incorporate into it so and it's been working out great and I love every single place especially here at Don Juan that we've been visiting so it's been awesome this is probably one of the best coffee shops oh absolutely here in orlando i love it so much because not just the coffee is good but the food is good vice versa you'll go places it's like food's good but the coffee you're like yeah and i typically don't drink coffee but when i do i'm very picky about it and this is like one of the only places i would drink coffee so yeah if you haven't been to don juan it's here in winter park on orlando avenue it's amazing. Um, and I just wanted to thank you guys for being here today and for watching. Um, and make sure to stay tuned for the next episode of Music on the Menu. And I'll see you guys next time.